Hello everyone and welcome to this short tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to generate an Arduino code for your board. First we open the lab design that we want to use. Then we go to the generate code window and here we can find all the boards that are available on PLC Ladder Simulator 2. We can select the Arduino do it and we can find that this board is not compatible with the selected ladder, ladder design. We hit the white button and we can find the reason of why the board is not compatible. We can see that the pin I0.2 is set as an analog input pin. If we go to the um, pin maps, we can see that the Arduino DUE in the pin I0.2 is not an analog input. If we go to the other board like the Arduino Uno, we can see that that pin is an analog input, it's, it's, it's enabled, it's compatible with the analog input feature. So if we go back to the generate code and we select the Arduino Uno, we can see that this board is compatible. Then we press the generate button and the code is generated. After the code is generated, you can go to the file manager in your phone and go to the PLC2 data folder, then to the MCU codes folder, and here you can find all the generated codes. In this case, the one I just create or generate. You can take this file uh, to your computer and using Arduino IDE, you can program your board, your Arduino board. Or you can also program your Arduino board using your Android phone. How? You can use uh, an app called Arduino Droid developed by Anton Smirnov. And from here you can open the file. So we go to sketch, open from device. So we go to the PLC2 data folder. Here it is then MCU code and this is the file. Select and here we have the file, the code for your Arduino board. So we can select uh, settings and here you uh, you can select the board that you're using. If you're using an Arduino Uno or maybe you're using a, a clone Arduino Uno so you must select the um, Normally you select this one, the, the CH340G and then we compile the file Once the compilation is finished you need to connect your Arduino board using an OTG cable and once you connect it you press the download but in this case I don't have nothing connected to my phone and that's how you can connect can you can program an Arduino board using your Android device <laughs> 